Here's a quick demo to create a simple floor plan by drawing two bedrooms, a bathroom, hallway, and a kitchen living area by using the tools mentioned in the drawing menu. Starting from the draw menu, let's use the room by size tool to draw a bedroom by entering the width and length measurements, for example, 14 by 18 feet 6 inches of a room, and proceed to add a bathroom 10 feet by 10 feet. Let's use the other rectangular room tool to create a second bathroom by dragging and moving a finger to a particular size, let's say 12 by 15 feet. Then continuously create another hallway, 6 by 10 feet, then click on Done to exit the mode. Normally, living room areas are not a rectangular shape. Use the Free Draw tool to draw any shape easily. Tap into the free draw mode. There is a special toolbar at the bottom with various assisting function buttons. You may tap on the help icon to find out the full instructions. Over here, we simply tap on the canvas to pinpoint our starting point, drag and move the point as needed. Lift finger, then drag the finger to the right to draw a line to a particular size reading, let's say 14 feet. Then go down 10 feet, Go to the left 8 feet, go down again 6 feet, then continue drawing the rest of the walls. If you like to enter a size instead, tap to pop up the keypad from the bar. Enter a size from the keypad and tap done to close the shape at the last wall. If you like to resize a room, tap to highlight it. At the bottom toolbar, select resize, then drag on any of the handles to change the size. If you need to attach a photo to this room, tap on Photo. Take a photo or select one from the photo album. If you need to mark up the photo, use Markup tool at the upper right corner to do that if needed. You can circle and annotate the photos using this tool. Repeat this process to add additional rooms as needed, such as a garage, study room, kitchen, additional bedrooms to the canvas. Tap on a room and move it around. Snap them together to reflect the actual floor plan layout. To add doors or windows to a room, tap on the object menu. Select door and window, select a door type, tap on the blue mark in the drawing canvas, move the door shape over the right wall location, drop to dock the door or window on the wall. Also, if you would like to add a cabinet or tub shape to a room area, Select the shape from the cabinet tub template list. Drag the blue handle, move and snap it into the right place in the room corner. To resize the attached cabinet or tub shapes, tap on it, select resize, and drag the handles to change the size. If there is a second floor, tap draw menu, then tabs tool to add a new floor tab. So you may draw a second floor room area under this tab. To switch between floor tabs, use arrow keys on the mid, left, and right edge. Current floor tab name with one slash two numbers indicates that the current is a first tab of a total of two tabs. Now we have completed a simple floor plan drawing process. You may continue on exploring other drawing features to create more sophisticated floor plans. And if you are a professional, try connecting a supported Bluetooth laser meter to get even more accurate readings and to speed up the measuring process.